I often get asked by you guys how to stretch your IT band. So today I'm going to lead you through a few stretches that you could do for your IT band to maybe help relieve some of your hip or knee pain. Oftentimes runners or cyclists can get some IT band syndrome basically from the repetitive motion of running or riding a bike. IT band syndrome manifests itself in some terrible hip or knee pain that basically radiates down the side of your leg from your hip to your knee. I do have some personal experience in this because IT band syndrome is what sidelined me from doing triathlons a few years ago. I got horrible knee pain and it sucks. So here are some ways you can stretch your IT band and you can get yourself back on the road again. The first stretch you do, lying on your back with a towel. Hook the towel around your foot and pull toward your body, stretching your hamstrings then pull your leg across the body. You should feel us down the side of your leg and hold this for about 30 seconds. And while we're on the floor, there's another one I like a lot, using a foam roller, or I'm gonna use this body wrench to do some self myofascial release by rolling the IT band out like dough. If you find a spot that really hurts, that means you're doing it right and just stay there for a bit until you feel it release. You can put more or less pressure on the IT band by using your fists and your feet to add or remove body weight from the body wrench. If you're receiving a little bit of knee pain from your IT band syndrome, I found the body wrench ball a very effective tool to pinpoint certain spots toward the base of the leg down by the knee. Yes, it hurts so good, but be sure you don't mutilate your muscles by rolling them out too hard. You don't want to bruise or damage your muscles, just apply a bit of pressure to tell the brain to tell the muscle to relax. Don't overdo it. On a side note, this body wrench is a very effective and versatile tool to use for many exercises and stretches as a whole. Another way you can stretch your IT band is to stand up and place the right leg behind the left, and you're gonna side hinge your hip and reach over your right ear towards your left. After a bit of hold, then switch sides. After this, reach to your toes with that right leg behind your left, then step your left leg behind your right and hold on to something like a a TRX if you have one, and lean forward to stretch that hip out on the right side. In addition to stretching, be sure to ice and rest to help get rid of that inflammation. You cyclists may need to check the fit on your bike, maybe get professionally measured for the right lengths of every uh, adjustment on your bike, and for you runners, you may need to get fitted for shoes to make sure you're wearing the right shoes for your feet and posture. So. There you go. That should help you get your knee or hip pain sorted out. If you need a body wrench, you can use promo code BODYWRENCH on fitnessontherun.com to get free shipping on your body wrench. Thank you for your support, and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel where I post a new video when I get a moment. I'm John Hamm from Fitness on the Run, and I will see you guys soon.